everybody, I'm Denise Mazzola from Everything Dog. Welcome back to this week's 10 minute tip. I'm gonna show you how to play the switch game. Be sure you hit the big red button and subscribe and then you can hit the gray bell and you can get an email every time we upload a new video so that you stay on top of your 10 minute tips. The switch game is a super fun, important game to play with any age dog, particularly puppies, because it's going to teach them that when you, like when they steal a sock, they steal laundry, a dish towel, anything, right? Uh, maybe it's a toy that's gotten chewed up too much and you need, to, and you're afraid they're gonna swallow it. You're, you're not just gonna walk up and take something away from them. You're going to change your behavior, go to your refrigerator, get your bait bag. Something. The switch game conditions your dog that when you approach that you are gonna shower them with $100 bills and it is far better for them to move away or give you the item that they have. Now, most dogs, you know, you can, you can just take things away from them. Puppies, you usually can just walk up and take things away from them. That's not the point. The point is to train them now that when you approach and shower them with $100 bills, and by that I mean pork chop, steak, cheese, chicken. If, you're the, if this is your first video of mine that you've watched, please go to the 10 minute tip and watch Getting Prepared so you can see all about the treats and what we're doing. Um, so that you make it worth the dog's while to give you back things. So what you risk by, if you have a puppy and you're just taking things away from them, the risk is that you're creating a dog that will guard, get defensive, get aggressive, get growly as they mature, okay? So in order to prevent that from happening, you're gonna play this switch game. Uh, if, you've already, if you've already got a dog that's showing a little uh, stiffness, stillness, a little side eye, a little raised lip, you definitely want to start playing this game with them. Okay, so I want to show you the switch game with Hank. Hank is a mixed breed dog. He's about 15 months old and he has started to show us that he has some mild resource guarding. It definitely guards from other dogs, which I personally don't worry about. Um, because it's because I use management for that. But I've seen just a little hint that he's a little uncomfortable with people approaching him when he has something of value. And what I see in him is I see him get, um, he does not lift his head up when I approach. Um, sometimes he gets a little still. Sometimes he gives me what I call the side eye or the whale eye where he's just looking at you sideways. Um, I've had no growling from him but I want to, and this is, if you are going to experience a dog with resource guarding, this is about the age that it starts. Um, if it starts much younger, like if you have a puppy that's resource guarding, that's much more serious than developmentally. It's starting at about 15, 18 months, two years of age. I'm gonna walk away from him because it's, uh, the approach is also important. So I'm gonna approach, I'm gonna say switch. And you can see he gave me a little eyeball, right? So I'm not going to take the bone. That is not the point of this exercise. The point of this exercise is really to condition him that when he hears that word, something better happens for him. And you can tell by his attention to me that that, that worked, right? That he understood in that moment, oh, Denise has something much better, like, right? Because I'm throwing steak and um, again, it's a handful. It is not one or two pieces. So you approach switch and I'm gonna let it hit him in the head because he did not lift his head up he was very busy getting the peanut butter out of the bone Hank is very food motivated so I have no worries that he's gonna get this game super quick um, it's just gonna take a few more than the few trials we're gonna do we're gonna do one more once he gets back involved with the bone now some of you have probably seen a certain person on national television that will force themselves on the dog. Could I walk up and take that bone from him? Yes, I could. That's not the point. Could I be dominant and assertive and grab him by the collar and say, give me that and how dare you and I take the bone? Yeah, I could do all that. But what am I teaching the dog? That's what I want you to start asking yourself. I'm teaching the dog that when I approach bad things happen for him, I get aggressive, and I take the thing that he's enjoying so much away. So how is that helping him learn to give it up happily? It's not. So please don't use force. Don't try to out aggress your dog if you're having resource guarding problems. Just simply play the switch game. It's a lot more fun for you. It's a lot more fun, fun for him. 
and don't let your ego get involved with this. I've seen so many resource guarding dogs that, uh, sorry guys, it's almost always the male in the house, but sometimes it's the woman that's just like, oh, like as soon as they see their dog getting a little stiff about it, they're like, oh, I want it, like I need to go in there and take that. And it's just like, take a deep breath, take a step, look at the video, go to your refrigerator, get something better, okay? So don't force the issue. That's not what we're trying to do here. Forcing the issue will make your dog aggress more, okay? Switch, you can see him looking at me, good boy. I just tossed it away that time because it doesn't matter. I'm still not gonna be touching the bone. That's not the point. Again, the point is we're conditioning him that that word, oh, hi, you're back, means something fun and better is going to happen for him. Switch. Now let's take a look at Geo. So you're gonna just approach, drop some food, a handful of food, handful of food, not just one or two. Okay, if you give just one, that's like a quarter. <clears throat> Excuse me, even though it's steak, right? It's not, it's not, and then there's another one, that's another quarter, but all together. You wanna make a big impression with your dog. Switch, you can see he's already anticipating that what I have is better than the steak stuffed in this bone, right? How funny is that? But I'm giving more of what, I'm giving him more steak. Get on the bed. Switch. Nice, see how he looks right up? Then you could take it, right? If you have to take it. So you're gonna practice, particularly anybody that's got a puppy, this should be one of your number one things that you're teaching your dog is the switch game. Just say switch, walk up, chuck a handful of super high value, think $100 bills, floating down on your dog's head, and then you remove the sock or whatever it is. And your goal is what you're seeing with Geo, that when you say the word, he is standing up and expecting something better than what he's got. So guys, switch game, make it fun, super high value food, lots of it. You can always decrease what your dog is eating out of their bowl, okay? So you're, if Hank normally gets a cup of food today, he's not gonna get a cup of food tonight because he's just had three or four handfuls of pork chop, okay? So adjust their kibble when you play this game. Get prepared. Go back and look at our video, our 10 minute tip on getting prepared. Get your treats ready, get them cooked, get them frozen, get them in baggies, whatever you need, so that, hey, my dog just stole a sock. You're gonna walk to the refrigerator, get a handful, switch, and play the switch game with your dog. Remember, you're not gonna out aggress your dog. Take a deep breath, let go of your ego, and make it worth your dog's while to give you the item by showering them with $100 bills. Okay, so subscribe, hit the bell, you'll get an email from us, share this video with as many people as you can, we'd really appreciate it, and I'll see you next week in our next 10 minute tip. Let me, uh, let me walk up to him so I do it, ready?